Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am doing a video for a handful of people that have written me about um, Neo Color 2s and comparing them to the Gelatos. And I'm going to throw in a Reeves water soluble uh, crayon and i um, going to show you just a few uh, hints and tips. Um, you can also uh, go on my main YouTube page and up by the about section is a um, search hourglass thing. You can put in there anything that you want to find on my channel and you put it in there, hit search, it'll come up any videos I have of it because I have quite a few videos of these and, and what I'm about to do, but it's a little updated version. And you can do that on anybody's channel, not just mine. You can search anybody's channel. It makes life a little easier, um, but I like doing updated versions, and I'm very blessed. I'm almost at 18,000 subscribers, and that's a lot of subscribers that are new. Um, and, you know, I know you guys are new, and you want to know, and I'm here to do it. So, let's get going. I'm going to let you know. I have a piece of mixed media paper to tablet. It is a mixed media by Conson. Right here, I have gesso, and it is folk art gesso surface prep. Love this stuff. And I have that on there. That's dry. I have here some Mod Podge matte, and I have here a new thing, uh, something that's new to me um, that I'm so excited to do a video on itself, but I thought I'm going to put it on here just to see what it's like. And what it is called is Brush Stroke Mod Podge. I have it in gloss and matte. This is gloss, and it's by Plaid, obviously. And um, this is really neat, and I'm so excited to do a video on it separately, but today we're going to play. You see, the wrapper in, in me comes out, right? Today we're going to play with some Mod Podge. And just some water-soluble things so you guys can just see a few tips. Um, you know, so first we're going to start with, we're going to go up to the gesso part. I'm going to kind of separate it in different quadrants here so you guys can see. I'm going to move my camera back a little bit more. Excuse my yellow tape that I have taping my thing around, um, but I want you to see everything. So first what we'll start with is some gelatos. Now, um, these are just your regular Faber-Castell gelatos. However, if you go on to Amazon, this is like a long standing little tip. Um, I did not find this out. Uh, I'm not the, <laughs> the person behind finding this out. This has been going on for a long time. You can go look uh, on Amazon for, I believe they're just called Faber-Castell uh, Water Soluble, and you can find these very, very inexpensive in a pack of all kinds of colors and metallics. Because if most of you know, um, these come in packages of similar colors. But yeah, you can get them on there. If I can find it, I'm going to put the link down below for you guys. I get nothing for it, but um, it does let you be able to buy the same thing, same formula, same everything. And um, especially if you're just starting out, you know? So, okay. So here's the gold and I'm going to do gold here. And this is on gesso first. I'm going to do it as if we're coloring, you know, coloring with that, painting with that. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. I'm going to take some of this off. All right, on my wet brush, and then I'm gonna put it on the gesso. I don't know how well you can see that. The lighting's poopy today, but you just go for a little bit more. It depends on how much you want it, how much you want on it, rather, how much you want it. How much do you want it? All right, and that's gold. Now I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna wet this. I'm just gonna go around in the same circle. I'm not gonna. And can you see how that works? You can see the gold underneath, the difference in the opacity and the, the strength of the color. But there you have the gold, and that is on a gessoed surface. Now, um, you can also, if I move this over for a second, you can also take a piece of wax paper or your mat, right, nonstick mat, craft mat, and you can wet it there, and you can pick it up the same way as watercolor. And then paint in your uh, whatever you're whatever you're painting. Now let's go into the matte gesso. And I'm gonna go in like this again. And we're gonna just take some of it off. And look at that. See it's a little darker than up on the gesso, not much. And then this, 
I'm just going to scribble on and then take my paintbrush and paint it out. Not bad. Not bad. That's on the gesso. Now this next one, I'm going to do the same thing. Take it off of here. All right. And this is the uh, gesso that I just showed you, the brush stroke. You're not going to be able to see too much brush strokes, but you can see it off of there, The um, how I wet it. And now I'm scribbling. You'll be able to see the brush strokes a little better like on there when it's scribbled. A little darker. Okay, you can see it's working. It's working good. This is just regular mixed media paper. So I'm going to scribble this on and take some water on the brush the same way. Remember, you could get put it on there, but you see, there you go. You got some of that on there. Now let's do this on non-gessoed. And what's going to happen is you can see where we drew it on, right? You can see the scribbles underneath. That is just plain old paper, not gessoed, uh, not Mod Podge, not anything. Now, let me tell you. You can see, and of course I probably picked a crap color so you guys can, can't really see it as well. This is the gelato. I'll do it with a brighter color next real quick. But you can see the gesso, the Mod Podge, the collage pod, I mean the uh, glossy, and then plain. So you can see the difference in um, the techniques. Now I'm going to go for the red here just to show you. I'm not going to take it off the brush. I'm just going to do a little bit here. This is the gesso. This is the Mod Podge matte. This is, now I'm going to show you. Look at that. Look at that delicious texture. And then this is on just re regular paper. Now look at this. This, oh gosh, this Mod Podge, this is the one with the um, texture in it. And you can blend these, look, right? You know. But it's going to pick up some of that texture. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on the camera. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay, so this is the Mod Podge mat. And I'll wet this too in one second. I just want you to see. I'm just using my finger. And then this is gesso, which gesso can have its own texture as well. But you can see they're all pretty creamy. I mean, they're all pretty much getting um, spread out. The heat of your finger really makes it. Okay, so you can see they're all spread out, you know, if you kind of use your finger. Now, if I take my paintbrush and wet it, okay, again, gelato. Beautiful, look at that. Next, on the Mod Podge, look beautiful, and then the uh, delicious brush stroke Mod Podge. Oh yeah, that texture though. See if you make it go up and down so it grabs onto that texture. Oh, that's all texture you're seeing there, folks. Delish. Okay, and then this is just on your normal un-gessoed, untouched paper. So can you see the difference on this where we scribbled it on first and this, once we put it on, we used our fingers because the heat of your fingers kind of melted into the paper. So, you know, you can play with these. You're not going to have as easy as a time if it's gessoed or uh, Mod Podged, but I know a lot of you do not have gesso. I know a lot of you probably have a Mod Podge or some sort of glue substance that you can um, use to put down to use these. So think outside the box. Um, and that's what I said. I just want to show you the different kind of things that you can use and do and get different techniques. Now, um, I didn't put Elmer's uh, glue. I didn't put our white school glue on here. And of course you can use it. Um, 
but I didn't do it on here yet. If you guys want to see me do the uh, Elmer School Glue test with these, let me know down below. I'll be glad to do it. I just didn't, I just figured I would do the uh, gesso and the Mod Podge matte, the Mod Podge brush stroke uh, glossy, which is Mod Podge glossy, and then just the paper. So now I'm going to take these. These are Neo Color 2s. They're from Karn. How do you even say it, Cal? Read it first, Cal. Read it. I'm horrible at reading. Not reading, but like knowing names. I just call them Neo Color 2, which is, such, is essentially what it's called. They're from like uh, Karn Dinash. C A R N D, I think it's D E N A C H E, something to that effect. But they're just uh, watercolor crayons. I'll put a link down below to it as well, as well on Amazon. And I'm going to take a dark color. Let's do purple. And these are watercolor crayons. And you can get, you don't get them in a kit like you would your gelatos. So you don't get four or five of these in a kit. You have to buy them separately. So, you know, always do your Roy G. Biv black, white. Those are your main. That's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white. Because you can mix any color from them. Especially if you're working with watercolor substance. And, um, you know, start out like that. And then you can go for, you know, different colors that you want. So this is on Gesso. And it's the same thing. This is on the Mod Podge matte. This is on the Mod Podge stuff's great brush stroke. And this is on paper. Now, again, you can scribble this down like this, right? Piece of wax paper, you know, the shiny side of wax paper, your uh, nonstick matte, anything you have. And you just go in there on your wet it. Look at that. And then. You can go to town and paint. So you can see it's very pigmented, very nice. But here, I want to show you what this does. Look at that. It's beautiful, beautiful. That is just with gesso. This is Mod Podge. Now, you see I added a lot of water here. I didn't add as much water here. I just did a little bit. But when I went to rinse my brush, I didn't take the... Um, extra water off my brush because maybe you want it lighter. That's okay. Now I'm going to dry my brush a little bit and I'm going down to the Mod Podge gloss and I'm just going to work it. Can you work it? Okay. And that's going to give you some delicious texture there as well. As you can see here, look at that texture. And then of course on the paper and I'm scrubbing on the paper because I want it to get deep down into wherever those, I pushed that uh, wax. Now you can see that's soaked in right away. This is still wet right here. Okay, which you could do great techniques with and I'll, I'll show you, but you know, these are still wet, this is still wet, but this sucked right into the paper because there's nothing protecting it. There's no gesso, there's no Mod Podge, there's nothing. But you can also wet your brush and do the same thing. We just take this around Oh, look, we could flick. Look how fun. Let's flick it. Let's, okay, enough fun. All right, and then watch. Then you can paint like that. So you see, you can paint from here. You could do it from here. You can do whatever you want. But like I said, the minute you put it down here, look at it going dry. So something to keep in mind. Now, these are the Neo Colors. And these are the Reeves, and these are waxy. These are much more waxy than the Neo Colors, but look, it's all right. They work. I'm just using black, but this is on my gesso. This is on my matte Mod Podge. This is on my glossy Mod Podge. The brush stroke, which I can see those brush strokes coming through. And this is on the paper. And these are Reeves. This is black, but it is uh, it comes in a pack. I got these at, you can get these at Staples. You can get these at uh, your local AC Moore, Michaels, you know, that kind of thing. And I got to pull the other ones out to show you the whole pack. But for now, this is, okay, so look, look how nice those work. Again, water soluble. I, I have a lot of water, so water soluble. I have oil, uh, water soluble, uh, paints and, and pencils and, and crayons. I have all that stuff. I just got to get it all out to do. It's too hard to do on such a video, such a long, much a longer video, I guess. Then look at this. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm going to just take it down against the, and then all that delicious texture is coming out. Hoo hoo. Okay. Yeah. This is on the paper. Now you see it's, it's, uh, melting it, but it's sucking it right in. So can you do it? Of course you can do it, uh, without anything else, but you know, obviously you get better, you get better coverage if you're using, you know, some sort of block on your paper. Now, if you use glossy paper, um, or sometimes you can get glossy scrapbook paper, um, you know, you don't have to put anything down because it's gloss and it'll, it'll work real well. So if I do this, Reeves, right? It's not as easy because these are much waxier. You can't, you can't really, it's not really giving me what I want when I do these. The fabric Castells. See how we can really melt it and, and move it around. It blends a little better. And then let's do one of these. Let's do a a light blue. We'll do it on the Mod Podge part. And see how nice that smooths out? It's hard for you to see that color, but very, very nice. And that's really, you know, these couple of things, how much fun you can have. Um, I don't think I have any of my stencils sitting here because something fun that you can do let me grab one of these stencils real quick. Yeah, this will be good. So something fun that you can do is take a stencil, lay it down on whichever one you want, wet a piece of, you can use a baby wipe or wet a piece of uh, paper towel or whatever, and go, go in a little wetter. And I don't want to spray it on here because I don't want the water to go underneath the stencil. And just give it a rub. If you have a little, a little brush or something that you want to use maybe to like a smaller brush like that, where you kind of want to go in and lay a little water down and then go in and blot it up. Baby wipe works well as, you know. All right, but you could see, let's see. And can you see how you lift up when you wipe? Anything that you lay down there as a, you can use your punchinella, you can use anything that you have that has texture and you see how it lifts it up. And that's on the gesso. So let's do it on the Mod Podge. Let's see if it'll come up on this. I'm just going around in a circle. And look, see that great texture? So you're getting texture on top of texture on top of texture. So now let me show you one more thing. And I'm going to go to the back of this page to show you. Okay, I'm going to cut this down here. And let's say you have, you have your Neo, I mean your uh, Faber-Castell gelatos, right? You have them here. Nothing's gessoed on here. There's nothing on here but the paper. Let's say you have your Neo color, and I'm going to pick a dark color. Where'd that color go? I'll do blue. Again, just kind of laying it down. I'm not going to be showing you too much of what, you know, how it's going to go into the paper because it is, but I just want to show you. Now take your Mod Podge mat or your white school glue. You can do either one. And I'll do, like I said, if you want a white school glue demo with all these things and just to do a white school glue demo, that's hard to say. Let me know <laughs> down below. Oh, let me know down below if you, yeah. Anyway, so take some of your Mod Podge mat, okay? And go in. Now remember, this is soaking in because it's not gessoed. 
But what happens is it's gonna, you're gonna use it like paint. I don't know if I could do it on the other side, but let's see. See, it activates it. Now, if we're using it on something that's already gessoed or the Mod Podge was down first, like on the other side, it's not going to soak into your paper like that, is it? But because it's not gessoed and I'm doing it on the back side, just to show you this little tip, then, you know, we're not really getting, you know, it's going to soak in the paper a little bit. But look at that. Okay, now you know what's going to happen when that dries? Tell me. Tell me what's going to happen when that dries. It's going to be permanent. So let's dry it with our heat gun or your hair dryer or just leave it dry for five minutes. And as always, as always, I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a heat gun, go to the thrift store to get a hair dryer. If you can't do that, then just leave it sit for five minutes and it'll dry. And I'm just real quick drawing it. But I know a lot of you, you know, have been asking about this and about, you know, what other ways, because I do, I like using different ways with my products. So I'm not just using them one way. You know, these the plaid products I got, I love. I love, I love, I love. But I like to use them in two, three different ways. And that's what I want to show you guys. Because if you're going to spend the money, I want you to get bang for your buck. And they have great products. So, you know, you could really, if you're just starting out in mixed media, you could really, you know, use a little bit, a few products, and really get a lot of bang for your buck. All right. So the bulk of that's dry. So what I'm going to do to make it, make sure it's dry all the way, is take... Because the minute I go to do what I want to do, if it's still wet a little bit, it's going to run. So, let's do this. Okay. Now, if you guys want me to do a, like a, a art journal page, rather, using the Mod Podge and the uh, Neo Colors or Gelatos, let me know. And I'll do that, too, to show you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a my big brush here. I'm going to rinse it off real good. I'm going to dry it so all the glue and everything is off. And then I'm going to go in for a little bit of water. And look. la da dee la da do la da dee la da do Look. And it's permanent. It's not going anywhere. Look, water. Look, so you got that stuff permanent. So, how y'all like me now? Just another way to use these items where you don't have to be stuck. Look, you doing watercolor, some people love it. I'm trying to learn it. I, it it's really, it, it's it's becoming a challenge, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, but being mixed media and being, you know, that kind of thing, I want to be able to use these things so they can be in my layers. And that is a great way for you to be able to do it. So, you know, look at that. So now when you go paint, you can, you know, paint it and or color it in or do whatever way you want to do it and then seal it and paint with that seal as if it's water and you have a fantastic um, permanent uh, thing when you're done. How much fun is that? I think it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, you know, like I said, I love showing. I love this stuff right here. I'm just having fun playing. I have, I, I love showing you guys all kinds of different ways to use things because there are so many mixed media stuff out there. There's so much uh, product out there and new comes out every day and you know, we all want it. We all see it. So why not find other ways to use it? So if this was helpful to you at all in my rambling craziness, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it greatly. And I'd appreciate it if you would share me all over the web uh, like your loose friends. And I would really appreciate it. 
As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Uh, this time in our world right now is insane. It's crazy. The hate is running rampant. And um, I am not here for that. Uh, I don't, you know what I mean? I just, I, I just hope everybody's safe and that all of you have love in your heart. And that's it. That's all I can say, but I love you guys so, so much. You guys make my heart smile and you guys are the best and so supportive and so loving and ugh, I just love it. So I hope you guys try it. If you do tag me in your videos or your pictures of, you know, whatever you do, I love seeing what you guys do and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.